Are you looking for how to increase your vertical jump? Well, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that in this video. What's up everybody, Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com helping you become bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. In today's video, I'm going to teach you all about single leg vertical jump training and I promise you this will be the only vertical jump training video that you ever need to watch on how to increase your vertical jump with one leg and how to jump higher off of one foot because I'm sick of all these videos that suck and give you misinformation. Now I also want you to know that I was gonna be selfish. I was gonna make three different videos out of this content because I was gonna do some strength training single leg exercises, some plyometric single leg exercises, and some rate of force development single leg exercises. And if I made three different videos, they would get more views and I would get more money off of YouTube. However, this channel's not about me, it's all about you, and I felt that it would be more convenient for you if I had all of the information here in one video for you so that you could watch this video and this video only, and you could understand everything there is to know about single leg vertical jump. With all of that said, my beautiful girlfriend is waiting for me at home, and if I don't hurry up, I am going to be Single, you get it, all right, that was a bad joke. All right, let's get started. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you understand that there are only three ways to increase your vertical jump. Number one, you have to increase your maximum strength and get stronger. If you develop more strength in your legs, your posterior chain, your core, your lower back, your brain and your mindset, you will increase your vertical jump. So that's the first way, increase your maximum strength. Number two is you need to increase your reactive speed and your reactive strength. And you can do that with plyometrics. That's where plyometric training comes into play. And number three, your rate of force development. All that that is, is how fast you can move a weight or your body from point A to point B. The faster you move your, the weight, the faster you move your body from point A to point B, the more power and explosiveness you have and the higher your vertical jump. So now that we understand the three ways to increase your vertical jump, let's jump into those three ways with single leg training. Here we go, single leg jump training 101. Everything you need to know about single leg training. Number one, strength. We need to increase our maximum strength using one leg to increase our one leg vertical jump. So the three best exercises to do that are number one, the, the one leg squat or the single leg squat. Now I do want you to know, that the single leg squat is not an easy exercise. It is an advanced exercise. So if you cannot do a freestanding one leg squat, you should do a one leg squat onto a chair or even a table if you can't go down that far and you get stronger and stronger until you can do a one leg squat freestanding. If you do it on a chair and you continue to do that, you will get stronger and eventually be able to do a freestanding one leg squat. So the first exercise that you should be doing to increase your maximum strength with one leg is a one leg squat. The next one is a one leg RDL. One leg squats, they focus on mainly your quads. One leg RDLs, they focus on your hamstrings and that booty meat. Okay, They focus on the glutes and they focus on your hamstrings. Okay, one leg RDLs, one leg Romanian deadlifts, get a dumbbell, or you can even do this without a dumbbell. Um, you could do it at home if you wanna do it there, but you stand on one leg. This works on your balance, your coordination, your stability, and your strength. I would recommend using a dumbbell. Um, some people like to do it with two hands. I just do it with one hand, and you go all the way down, focusing on your hamstring and your glute, come all the way back up. These are one leg Romanian deadlifts and the second exercise that you need to be doing to increase your one leg strength and stability and coordination and everything like that. One leg Romanian deadlifts. The third one, the one leg push press. This is also a very hard exercise. One leg Romanian deadlifts, 
not that hard. Okay, may be hard to balance at first. One leg squats, one leg push press, they are pretty hard, okay? But they do, that's why these are the best to increase your maximum strength with one leg. One leg push press, your leg is going to go the opposite way as a one leg squat. With a one leg squat, your leg is out in front. With a one leg push press, your leg is in the back and you're dropping your knee down to the floor. You have a dumbbell in your hand and you're basically going down till your knee touches the floor and then exploding back up and you can push the weight in the air if you want to. Some people don't like to. I like to, to do the full range of motion and the full exercise with that workout. Anyways, um, that is the third exercise, one leg push press that you should be doing to increase your strength with one leg and therefore increasing your vertical jump. Let's move on to this side where we have reactive speed and strength. This is where our plyometrics come into play. Okay, we already built some strength, now we wanna build some reactive speed and strength. And you can actually do all nine of these exercises as one entire workout. You can put this all together and do this as one workout if you want to, because we're focusing on three different areas of the vertical jump. Reactive speed and strength. The first one is one leg continuous hurdle jumps, okay? Continuous hurdle jumps. We want to work on our reactive speed and our reactive strength. So one leg box jumps, you know, one leg, one leg, anything where you jump just one time isn't the best for one leg training. What is the best for one leg training to develop your reactive speed and reactive, reactive strength is your foot touching the floor multiple times. So when you're jumping over the hurdles, over and over and over the hurdles, you want to focus on spending the least amount of time on the floor. So you want to act, you want to pretend like the floor is a hot skillet and you are going to burn your feet if you spend too much time on the floor. So as soon as your foot touches the ground, immediately explode back up over the next hurdle, working on your reactive speed and your reactive strength. So that is why one leg continuous hurdle jumps, not just regular hurdle jumps, continuous where our foot touches the floor multiple times working on that reactive speed and strength. That is why those are a great exercise for you to increase your single leg, one foot vertical jump. Next one, one leg stair jumps. Okay, this is the same thing. This is a good one if you wanna do it at home. All that you need is a stair or a step. Okay, and all that you do is jump up and down off of the stair, off of the step over and over and over, working on that reactive speed and that reactive strength. That is what, it's, it's all the same thing. Same as continuous hurdle jumps. You want to work on that continuous, continuous foot touching the ground multiple times. Not just the one time box jump. Not just the one time tape jump at home. Okay, you want to be continuous having your foot touch the floor multiple times working on that reactiveness. Okay, so one leg stair jumps. That's the second exercise for this category. The next one is one leg depth jumps. This is the only one of the three that is not continuous. However, depth jumps in general are an excellent exercise for you to increase your vertical jump. So with the one leg depth jumps, you're going to step off of a chair, off of a stool, off of a bench, off of a, a plyo box, whatever you, you are going to step off of, one leg is going to hit the ground and you are immediately going to explode up and try to jump as high as you possibly can. Now, this is different from the two leg depth jump. When you're doing a depth jump with two legs, it's fine if you have the box really high. Okay, a lot of people are much better obviously with two legs than they are with one leg. So when you do a one leg depth jump, you want to lower the box that you are dropping off of by at least half. So let me explain, if you are dropping off of a two foot box, a 24 inch box, and then you're hitting the ground and exploding, you want to, for the one leg box jumps, lower that to be 12 inches or only one feet and then drop off of the one foot box, hit the ground and jump up or less, okay? Or less, you know, try it lower if you've never done these before with one leg because they can be harder. One leg is obviously a lot harder than two legs. But anyways, one leg depth jumps, that's the third exercise to build our reactive speed and strength, okay? So let's move on to the third category, rate of force development. This is where we move the weight 
or you know the dumbbell, our body weight from point A to point B as fast as we can. And the way to increase your rate of force development the most is by jumping. It's by using weight as resistance and jumping. Okay, you can also use your body weight for this. But when we're talking about point A to point B, let's say I'm doing a squat, I can move it from the bottom to the top as fast as I can. However, a squat jump is going to work more on react or, or on rate of force development than a normal squat because I am jumping in the air. So I must be moving the weight faster. I must be more explosive. Okay, so rate of force development, point A to point B as fast as we can. Jumping is always better than not jumping. Weighted explosive step ups. Okay, if you've never done these before, you can just do them with your body weight. You do a normal step up, but you explode at the top of the rep. Explosive step ups, I like to hold two dumbbells in my hand when I do this. Using the weights for resistance and exploding through the movement is the best way to increase your one leg rate of force development, therefore increasing your vertical jump. Number two, explosive Bulgarian split squats. I would definitely recommend doing this without dumbbells at first, doing it with just your body weight. Once you get better at the movement and you practice this movement, then you can add some weights, grab some 10 pound, some 15, 20 pound dumbbells and do these with that. But the second exercise, explosive Bulgarian split squats is another great exercise to increase your rate of force development with one leg, okay? Last one. I call them rolly jumps because I really don't know the name of this exercise. So we're gonna call them rolly jumps. And what you do is you roll onto your back and then you roll back up onto one leg and you jump up in the air as high as you can. You can jump up onto a box or if you're at home, put tape across two objects, jump over the tape, or you could just jump straight into the air. But these rolly jumps are very hard, okay? They're not that easy. So when you do the rolly jumps, this is a great way to work on that rate of force development. As always, do it with your body weight first. And once you get it down with your body weight, then you can grab some dumbbells or a medicine ball or something like that. But this is an advanced exercise, so definitely do this one with your body weight first. But that is the third exercise to increase your rate of force development. And these are the three ways, the nine exercises that you need to be doing to increase your one leg vertical jump and jump higher off of one foot. And this is the only video that you need to watch on single leg vertical jump training. This is all there is. There's other exercises. There's obviously other exercises, but there's no other way to increase your vertical other than increasing your maximum strength, increasing your reactive speed and strength, and increasing your rate of force development. That's it. There's no other way to increase your vertical. These are the only three categories. And if you do that with one leg, you will increase your vertical jump off of one leg. And one last thing that I want to tell you is that you always need to be practicing dunks. Okay, or just jumps. If you want to be a one leg jumper and you want to work on your one leg jump, or you're jumping off of one foot. You have to practice jumping off of one foot. This is the main thing, okay? After you do all of these things, you need to practice dunking off of one leg. And if you can't dunk off one leg, act like you have a basketball, same thing as a layup. If you go up with your right hand for a layup, you're jumping off of your left, left leg, everybody knows that. You jump up and you touch the rim or you jump up and you touch the backboard, or you just jump up and jump as high as you can. But you have to be practicing one leg jumps to become a one leg jumper. I know it sounds like common sense, but myself when I was younger and a lot of other people don't really put two and two together until we hear it. If you want to be a one leg jumper, you have to practice one leg jumps in all of this other stuff that I just gave you today. But all right, because I do not want to be single, I have to go home and meet my girlfriend. So I will see you guys in the next video. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Share this if you think somebody else can get value from the video. And ladies and gentlemen, please, I am begging you to remember that action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. Action is the only thing that brings results. You have to go do it 
if you want the results. You can't just sit here and think about becoming a one leg jumper. You gotta go into your garage, go to the weight room, go to the basketball court and put all of this into action. I will see you guys next time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested in a step-by-step -step vertical jump training program that can walk you through every set, every rep, and every exercise that you need to increase your vertical jump, jump higher, and dump a basketball, I will link my very own vertical jump training program down below in the description of this video, or you can visit my website at www.nathanielmorton.com. If you are interested in vertical jump online coaching, you can once again click the link down below in the description or email me at nathanielmortoncoaching at gmail.com. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time.